A single Toby Flood penalty had been the difference between Leicester and Exeter when the two sides last met at Sandy Park, with Flood outscoring Gareth Steenson four penalties to three in the 12-9 win back in March. And the visitors began like a train. Niall Morris just failing to touch down after a smart chip through from Flood. The Tigers skipper then had the chance to open the scoring from the tee, but managed to push his kick right at the posts. Leicester finally opened the game's account on 10 minutes. The Youngs brothers combining from close range for Ben to dot down and the referee correctly awarding the try. Flood missed the conversion but extended the lead to 8-0 on 14 minutes when Jason Schumark was pinged for not rolling away. The Chiefs finding it almost impossible to get hold of the ball. When they finally did get their hands on it, the game suddenly lifted along with the home crowd. But when Jordan Crane was penalised, Steenson didn't manage to keep up his remarkable 94% season's kicking success rate as the ball sailed wide of its target. Just before the break, some beautiful interplay by the Exeter forwards and backs was wrecked by a wayward Schumacher pass and Nicky Gonover rushed through to gather the loose ball and dot down for the converted score. Tigers leading 15-0 at the interval. Chiefs director of rugby Rob Baxter mentioned afterwards how upset he'd been with most of the first half. And in the second, the hosts hit back with some force. Steenson with penalties on 43 and 50 minutes to reduce the arrears to 15-6. The territory in possession was all with the Chiefs. And along with a much more competitive set piece, the hosts turned the screw. Tom Young's popping up at scrum time to give Steenson another straightforward three-pointer. That seemed to settle the visitors, who responded in the scrum to earn a penalty up the other end and give Flood the chance to extend the lead to 18-9, which he duly took. A brilliant Tom James break almost ended in a wonderful Chiefs try many plays later, but Tigers fullback Morris managed to wrap up Damian Welch just as he was about to offload, and that was to be it for the Chiefs. Flood added the final nail with his third penalty on 73 minutes as the home side threw everything at the visitors. But despite superior territory, possession, metres made and tackles evaded, it seemed like the Chiefs would never recover from that woeful 20 minutes. Final score at Sandy Park, Exeter Chiefs 9, Leicester Tigers 21.